going everybody? Uh, for today's video, I'm going to be doing an oil change on my Infiniti G35 Coupe. And the reason for this oil change is one, um, not only am I almost due for one, <laughs> um, I do have that oil leak, so I plan to, uh, you know, just keep changing it, keep refilling it a little more often than usual. And also another one is because since I'm going to be starting the uh, process of doing my tuning, um, lip mode tuning recommended that I do. I have like fresh, I have fresh oil in it, so it helps them eliminate some factors and stuff, and it just makes their job easier. So I'm going to be doing that today, and I'll take you guys along for the ride. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Evan Chang. Yo, shout out No Dink Squad. All right, well now that I just got done uh, at Walmart, got the oil. They didn't have uh, an oil filter that would fit my car. Um, I wasn't really gonna buy it from Walmart anyway, but you know, I thought I would look. Um, they didn't have it, so I'm gonna go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's right now, pick up an oil filter, and then we'll get this install started. All right, so we just picked up the oil filter. Uh, you know, I might get shit from you guys for using this one, but this is just to hold me over until um, I actually um, order a new one. I'm going to be ordering the um, FX35 from an 04 oil filter. It's a little bigger oil replacement. That's what Lip Mode Tuning re recommends, but I'm trying to get my car tuned before I go back down to college. Because once I do that, I really won't have any time to do it. So this will be on um, just for you know, the three or four to like the 3,000 miles until I replace it again with the oil replacement. So I'm sure this will do a good enough job at just holding me over for that long. And hell, this shit was $10, so I'm pretty sure it's a decent quality at least. So um, I'll get back home, let the car cool down, and we'll get this thing installed. So in the good words of Mighty Car Mods, first thing you do is jack up your car. Also, a quick shout out to Locals. If your car, if your car is not slammed, but it's low enough that a jack won't fit under it, you can just take this bad boy off right here and she'll fit right under. The next thing I did was remove the uh, under shroud. It's easier to get to the oil filter and then of course the drain plug right here. Drain plug is a uh, 14 mil. Oh yeah, before before doing that, unscrew the oil cap. Yo, that Nismo life. This actually came on when I bought the car and I tried looking for these again and you actually, I don't think you can get these anymore. So, uh, pretty rare item. <laughs> well that bolt was a bitch to try and break off. Finally got it though. I really hope uh, this oil drain pan is lined up right, otherwise I'm gonna get oil everywhere. Now this is actually my first time doing this, so low key, I'm actually a little nervous. Oh my God, it's suspense, the suspense. Almost there, ah! Shit, 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 shit. Oh, almost there, holy shit. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Uh, this oil filter will not come off. They, they really put this bitch on there. And I did grab uh, these little vice things from Walmart thinking I would have a hard time, but as you can see, uh, that bitch doesn't fit over the filter. So I'm kind of shit out of luck right now. I don't know, maybe if I keep, if I just keep going at it, maybe it'll come off. Ah, fuck. 
G35 calls for five quarts of oil. I'm using Mobile One Full Synthetic 0W40. See if I can pour this without spilling any. Make sure to get every last drop. You always gotta shake it. Always gotta shake it. Make sure it's on there. All right. Now I'm gonna go back on the car. Double check everything. Oh, and yes, that wire right there, I'm about to fix that. That was part of my gr uh, grounding wire. I guess it came off. Uh, about to put that back on. All right, so drain plug is on. Filter, same filter. That is on. Make sure it's tight. Oh, and for the ground wire that was hanging beneath my car, just to clear that up, this was part of uh, Sean's uh, grounding kit that he offered. So once I find another ground wire to connect from there to there, then I'll reconnect this through transmission. Uh, getting around to it, I'll do it eventually. But anyways, let's start her up, see how she runs. All right, let's do it. I mean, she sounds good. <laughs> Let's see if there's any leaks. Not right, looking good. All right. I'll let it run for uh, like 30 seconds or something and I'll uh, let you guys know. Sweet. So. Let it run for a good, eh, more than 30 seconds, I would say. No leaks. She sounds good. And uh, that was a success. Pretty happy. That was my first time doing an oil change on this car. So, hope you guys liked that video. Um, if you did like it, um, show me with a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, subscribe. Have any questions, drop them in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. All right, here's a little extra video. I just poured all the oil from there back into here and look in there, look at that. It's not even, I would say it's not even halfway full. It's like about, hold on. Yeah, it's like about here-ish. Now I just put five quarts in, I just dumped it all out. I only got like that much left, like not even halfway. Now I do have an oil leak, but this seems more than a leak. I think I actually might be burning oil. <laughs> well, that sucks. All right, how's it going everybody? Phil up here and today I'm gonna be installing some Chameleon 